Hello everyone, Super Mustache Pika here, and welcome back to Final Fantasy Tactics, War of the Lions. In the last episode, we rescued Mustadio, and we're going to top it off, start off with going to the tavern here and learning about the rumors about Princess Olivia being kidnapped. Um, you can pause if you want to read that. Also, errands. Uh, with errands, you can send party members to go to do these missions. Um, some of them do require, I believe, certain job classes, but that might be the other tact that might be like in Tactic Advance or Tactics Advance 1 or 2. But you basically send out three of your party members. You cannot send out guests or special characters like, you know, that we can achieve or obtain later in the game. But yeah, well, that we're gonna we got a little cutscene here with before we leave Z Zalon to head for Leono Castle. But anyways, with the uh, errands, um, I don't know too much about it. I think it's based off your level, your job class, and what type of mission it is. Um, most of the missions you just get gil. Sometimes you can get treasures, and that. It's kind of the part of the game to help find some special characters in the game. Um, I'm going to be showing off the ones that I know about. I'll probably miss a couple if I forget. I think there's a, a new one you can get in this version, but we'll see. I'll see if I can get lucky if I can find them and add them to the party. But anyways, we're, list we're hearing about how Princess Olivia... And it was at one Osborne, was at one observatory or monastery, and then she was at another one where she met Alma, our sister, or Ramza's sister. And I think she explains some that she's adopted too, so. But yeah, um, both sides kind of want to use all, or Olivia to their advantage. And then she's talking about Orborn. Orborn. I, I, I spoiled it, but yeah. We joked that the two shared a strange, so strange fate. Yeah, because both of them are at the Orborn Observatory. And yes, Lady Alma, our sister, or Rom's sister. I don't know why I say our sister, but yeah. But Rom's is kind of like listening in. He's like, oh, I never knew that. And then <laughs> here comes Mustadio. And I, I love this a little bit. Rom's is like, shut up. Oh, man, you idiot. And, and Angrius doesn't even know we're there. She just walked past us. But apparently the Northern Order has not reached the lawn, so our brother's forces have not caught up to us. And then we get a little of the grass, whist the grass whistle. He sure can blow. No, <laughs> no, forget that. Take, don't take that out of context. I was just joking. But yeah, a little touching moment with Ramza and Olivia as we head on towards our destination. Um, I believe with the Outfitters, I don't know if we can get anything new. Oh, we can purchase poison rods. But yeah, we're not, I'm not going to go back all the way to Airgross to see if we can get more heavy armor and knight's equipment. Or knight swords or swords or heavy equipment. But yeah, we're going to have uh, Mustadio and Agrius as guests, so like the last battle, we're going to have the same three join us. Danebert, Goddard, and Thomasine. And we come to the Balius Tor. I'm sure I butchered that, but yeah. yeah. I'm trying to stay comfortable as I record this. And yes, the Bart, the Bart company is still after us. And basically, they're like, "We want the stadium." It's like, "Nope, he's with us." When you see Ludovic and remind him that those who live by deceit are first to die by it. We'll have the boy by force then. But yeah, we just have some cell swords, uh, two archers, a knight. Two knights, I believe. Two archers, two knights, and two summoners. 
Uh, Mustadio, I did keep the pistol, the pistol on him, so yeah. I didn't go over Mustadio's abilities, but as a arms, or with his ability as a machinist, he has the capability of aim lock, or, or with Mustadio's ability, I can't remember it offhand. I just saw it. This guy's got an ice bow, white staff. I'll talk about it in a minute. I'm just seeing what these guys have for gear. Wizard's robe. I might want to steal that. I don't know why I didn't steal it and steal one from the Black Mage in the last episode. But Mustadio's abilities with a pistol or rifle or gun or whatever you want to call it is that he can do three of three abilities with or three attacks within the, with a chance of a different status ailment. He can either aim for someone's arm, which will make them unable to attack. He can do a leg, I think it's an arm aim, and he can take out, that makes someone disabled so they cannot attack. All they can do is move. Um, he has leg aim, which basically if it connects and if it works, it makes a person, it immobilizes the target, the target for a few rounds. So the opposite of arm aim, which basically the person would be able to attack, but they won't be able to move. And then he's got seal aim, I believe, and I think that's more with the other status ailments. Like he can... I don't know which ones or if it's a random one, but I think it's like petrify. I don't know, I have to look at it. It might be petrify. But yeah, I want to keep this party spread out, but spread out enough, but not too close together because those the summoners I think have a have one or two spells that can do damage. And I remember as a kid when playing this battle, doing this battle. Uh, yeah, the summons just whoop my ass. Please don't brand armor. Ugh, I'm tired of that. That's the one complaint I'm going to actually say with this game playthrough. Is I forgot how much the AI with knights is. Oh, you have this really good armor. Guess what? I'm going to break it. And it's like, no, don't break my gear. And there goes my javelin. What a dick. If... I had to say anything about one thing right now about my play th with this current playthrough is too much rending. Hell, I never even used it that much when I with when I had a knight in my party. I never would rend equipment. I mean, in this playthrough, I did. When like back when we were fighting Maluda back then, because that was gear that I didn't need, and she was a pain in the kill with those levels and that equipment. So breaking it made it a little easier. But I feel like chapter 2 and later, it's kind of pointless to have to, to want to break stuff. I mean, most of the equipment that you can get from mini bo from from bosses or more not just generic characters, you can get some pretty good stuff. You can, there's some there's some enemies in this game where the item drops are one. Like, that's the only way you can obtain them is from that by stealing them from that character. You can't get them anywhere else. Really? 90% to the back of the head and she blocked it. Oh, this game is kind of frustrating me right now, but right now... Okay, he's in range. I'm going to steal that wizard rope. Why? It doesn't hurt to have extra armor. Well, I did do some grinding in between episodes. And look at that, 37%, boom, wizard rope, got it. The summoner can bite the dust. But in chapter two, when you have random encounters, you not only do you come across random monsters like bombs, grenades, black goblins, regular goblins, bone sna you know, skeletons. You can come across some humanoid characters. And they actually have equipment, and some of the equipment is not available right off the bat. It is, I believe it's something you can, it is obtainable in 
the chapter you're in, but it's not. It might not be available in a store when you are able to obtain it. So sometimes when you're grinding, if you can find a human char humanoid character, yeah. Sometimes it's best to just if you can steal, steal. All right, you're not gonna do it. How oh, about thunder? Thunder's gonna be do about the same. Ah, uh, screw it. Just heal. If I'm not careful, these summers can knock us out pretty quick if we're bunched up together. Like, these three are pretty close together. I think they might be in range of a... Of being attacked hit with a Shiva summon. Shiva. Shiva summon. I'm gonna say Shiva. Yep. Yeah. Alright, Nagrius, you're just gonna kinda hang back and... Oh, no, she's gonna use judgment. She actually got in range to use judgment blade. Good. Don't use her. I like I said. I kept the sword on her, but other than that, I really don't use her. Really, this knight has aim. Interesting. I didn't see that. I should have checked. He's gonna use aim. He's gonna run, and he's gonna throw a stone. I. Like I said, that's just, that's the one thing complaint I have right now with this current playthrough is that the, uh, the enemy AI uses Ren too much, and knights. If the knights don't have a different ability, they're using flipping stone. They're throwing rocks at us. That's for a squire, you dinks. But Mustang should be able to shoot this her in the back, and that'll keep her from casting a spell. And Ramza should be able to move into range to take out this one if she doesn't dodge a sword to the face. We'll kill her. Yeah, a a t an attack from above, one, two, one or two spaces, or a space above to the back of the head is 90% blocked. A sword to the face on the same ground level, 100%. I, I don't know. I just don't know. Well, anyways, Danebert really kind of sucks that he got his flipping javelin broken. But despite that, can still jump. Well, let's see, that should take him out if I'm quick enough. Quick enough with God or two, I could get down and try to find a way to hit that. Or you know, blast ain't gonna work. Could take out the archer. Could take try to weaken the knight. Uh, let's see. Or I'll just yeah, that I'll do that works too. That's a corner heal. What should I do with Thomasine? Should I cast black magic? Let's see. If I, I can use a weak a weak spell should be able to take her out. Yeah, Constance. She'll get off her she'll get off her Shiva Shiva spell. But I don't think she's gonna live much longer than that. If you're um uh, yeah, let's get rid of that knight. Hopefully that'll help. Glacial shards! Who's that gonna hit? Just got her. Eh. Good fear of spells. Should... Weaken that knight pretty good. And the jump should take off that archer. Nice. She should be in range to use Judgment Blade again. Cool. Is she gonna take him out? Yes. Good. I'll allow it. I know at the beginning of this playthrough I said I was gonna strip guests of all their equipment, but you know what? Chapter 2, I, I would be at a huge... I think I've said this before. I'd be at a huge disadvantage. And... Yeah, I could challenge myself like that, but at the same time, I don't want to be trying to record, make do several recordings to make sure I succeed. And let's see, 
Okay, let's take out the archer. The summoner I'm not worried about because she's probably going to run and hide if she still has MP left. Are you kidding me? That is such bull. You know what? Kidney punch this SOB. He should be able to take out the summoner. So I'm not talking so much. It's flipping. It's just a really warm day today and just trying to stay cool and yeah. Thomasine, well, I didn't realize she had that high, much of a jump. But anyways. Who needs healing? Might as well heal those two. But yep, might as well heal them up. Get some more job points. Before I changed, in the last episode I talked about what the main group's going to be for their dual classes. Well, Thomas Dean, I want to master Black Mage. It's taking, so, it's taking a while because this... It's not really the, um... Oh, she got knocked out. Whatever. It's not really the, um... Levels. It's the job points required for some of the most powerful spells in the game as a black mage like the tier 4 fire ice and thunder or thunder magic is I think it's like 900 job points why do they pursue you pray understand I cannot tell you not yet so even though these guys are still chasing Mustadio he's not going to tell us why but anyways the battle is won hooray and we get about 7,400 gil. Do we get any bonus treasures, trophies? 1,000 gil, holy water. Holy water cures, cures you from when you're a vampire or undead. We won't be dealing with that for a while. Anyways, back at Airgrowth Castle at the, at the Solar. Yeah, Dice of Dark and Gafgarian. Cannot have her free, catch her, crush her, and make her smile at her song. Lady Agrius and the others as well. And Ramza? As he pours a bottle of wine. <laughs> he soils her name, dogs me, ev dogs my every move. Hmm. But the boy is too stubborn. He does not know the way of the force. That's a possibility. Too much like his dad. Hopefully no one hurt. Anyways. And yeah, father coddled the boy too much. There's not can be done. Sips. The blood curdles. Interesting. If the cardinal moves to defend the mockingbird, what then? Duke Clark himself could not reach them in umbrage of the church's way. So we're finding out that these guys, that Dysodarg is, yeah, like basically as Gafgarian said, ever three steps ahead. And yeah, basically Dysodarg saying, watch a Gafgarian. Even though you are under my, you are under, under I'm paying you coin. I will, you will, I can make you disappear or die. On top of the missteps, what buffoon did you have kidnapped uh, before beset and daughter as we gave chase? Not quite how we discussed. Yes, what about Delita? The men I sent were found dead in the woods near the monastery. Someone has caught wind of our plan and seems intent on disrupting it. Yeah, that'd be Delita. As long as Olivia remains with Lady Angrius, their plan will be fine. Yeah. Basically for both their sakes. Because apparently they got a lot invested in this. And yeah. So, in the next episode, we're going to head for Leonel Castle and speak with the Cardinal. This has been Super Mustache Pika. Have a nice day.